Welcome! This is an exciting lesson because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to expand your vocal range no matter where you are in your singing journey. Now, before we get started, if you want some help figuring out what your current vocal range is, you can grab a free tuning app. I have one called Pitch. Convenient. You just click on it and it's gonna tell you the notes that you're singing. And this is easiest to do with a keyboard in front of you, but you can play a note. My Pitch app says that's a G3, so I'm gonna try to sing it. Ah, uh, did it? Okay, move down. Ah, uh, and you'll go down as low as you comfortably can and write that note down. And then you can do the same thing moving up as high as you comfortably can and write that note down. That way you will have a baseline so you know if your range is expanding. Now, one thing I wanna say about this is voices change from day to day. Some days you'll feel that you can sing higher than others and this can be related to hormone, hydration levels, um, just sort of like stress in your body. So this is something to be taken sort of over like a 30 day average. Um, and the other thing is, it's not necessarily about how low and how high you can sing, it's the quality with which you can sing the notes in your given range. So I want you to have some fun with this because expanding your range is absolutely possible. You can sing lower and you can sing higher. Um, and we're gonna have some fun, but also keep in mind, it's about quality. Okay, the first exercise is gonna sound a little bit crazy because we're gonna be making siren noises. And this is just to help us sort of discover the edges of our range in this moment. So you can sing the word who, and if you've ever heard a siren, you know how to do this and go, who, who, who. And your sirens are gonna be pitched differently than mine because every voice is different. But just take a minute, like 60 seconds, literally, and do this before you move on to the next exercises. So let's do it together a little bit more. You can start high and move down. And you can move back up. and crack and that's okay. And then for some added fun, you could try puffing your cheeks full of air and singing your siren that way. That sounds like revving an engine. Vocal exercises are so weird, but I promise you there is a benefit to doing this. So work it into your daily routine and definitely do it before you work on your range expanding exercises. Okay, so now that we've done some sirens, we're gonna move on to the next thing. And here I want to address tension. Now I know we're excited to go sing really high and really, really low, but before we do that, we have to make sure we're in good, a good place here. So I want you to give yourself, or give me, give me the thumbs up. <laughs> you're gonna place your thumbs then underneath your chin and you're gonna swallow. And you'll probably feel something pushing down on your thumbs as you swallow. Now, we don't actually need those muscles to engage and push down on our thumbs when we're singing. So we're gonna try to keep this really relaxed and chill. So I want you just to practice by making a creaky sound. Go. Now, did you feel any pushing against your thumbs? If you did, just try to pretend you've just been to the dentist and these muscles are just frozen. And it can take some practice, but you can do it. So go. And then go. Ah, ah, ah trying to keep this as relaxed as you can. And you'll get better at this over time. So the idea is, is we're gonna sing through an exercise. I'm gonna start here, but if you are a male voice or a lower voice, you can match me an octave down. So keep your fingers or your thumbs underneath your chin and see if you can keep it relaxed and sing. You're just touching each note. You're not gripping. Now we're gonna open it up to A. Back to mm. And the trick is that you want to make sure that you're feeling that tension free experience on the ah as well as the mm. So let's go. Back to ah. Never forcing it. So if this is too high for you, you gotta stop. But if you still got it, that sounded so bad. I think I'm capped out. So 
that was not a clean note. So that was probably a good sign that that's as far as I should take this today. But all the way through that, I was being mindful that this wasn't tensing and tightening. None of those notes felt stressful to my body. They just sort of, whew, out they went. So practice that. And if you find that you're getting stuck, you can actually just practice this without a piano scale and just pick a note that feels good, maybe up here and go, just to get those feelings before you're trying to follow the piano up and down. So this is an exercise that if you do every day, you will likely find you're able to hit higher and even lower notes. It's a great way to check in with tension. It's just gonna make you a better singer overall. So have fun with that one. Now, if you want to practice along with our practice tool, um, it lets you customize the ranges so you can put it into the perfect spot for you. We've got a free seven day trial linked below this video. So take advantage of that, absolutely. All right, let's look at our final exercise. In this one, we're playing with the sound E. And here is where we need to be mindful of what our larynx is doing. So if you place your hand here over this little bump or your Adam's apple, that's where your vocal cords live, swallow, you're gonna feel something move up and down. That's your larynx. So as we sing, we wanna be mindful that our larynx doesn't start to creep up. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to say, ah, what does your larynx do? Ah, and then say E. E, do you feel it kind of moving up as you make those sounds? So we're trying to kind of keep it slightly stable or even a little bit low. So if you add a little bit of like a dopey sound <laughs> underneath your gi, try this gi, gi. Mine feels like it stays a little bit more still. Gi, gi. So if you need to add that little bit of uh into your E sound, you can do it and it'll sound like this. Gi, 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 gi. So you're gonna play with that. It's gonna take time for you to connect your mind with what your larynx is doing, but just know that you can control it with a little bit of that, uh, it brings it down slightly. So we're gonna start that exercise over again. Now, I am working from what feels like a comfortable low note for me, and we're gonna go as high as we can. But keep in mind, with our practice tool, you can start this as low as you would like it to be um, so that you can work on those low notes as well. Okay, here we go. this one is that we're just touching the notes. We're just, we're finding it and then we're letting the note go. But the beautiful thing is once you get comfortable with that over time, you'll be able to handle more weight on those notes. So when you're trying to sing a big high note in one of your favorite songs, you're going to have way more of the coordination developed for that specific note. So these exercises are great to build into your daily practice routine. They're going to strengthen your voice. They're going to help you to expand your range and they're going to give you more control over your instrument. All right, so I hope you have fun with these exercises. Now remember you can use the free seven day trial to access our practice tool. All you got to do is drag that transpose setting up or down to find a range that matches and fits your voice. Um, so sing along, have fun, comment below if you have questions, and I'll see you around.